Hey guys, welcome back to Black Clover Mobile. In today's video, I want to give you a day one update after less than 24 hours on my free to play account, where we're at, and then go through exactly what I farmed and what I did in this time to get to where I am. So I'll leave timestamps. First off, we'll go with the account update where we're at, and then we'll talk about some tips and what I did. So let's go in first of all, the account. So we are currently uh, upgraded pretty well. So we've got three LRs. I just need a bit more experience and then we'll get our, our fourth LR with the Lotus. And then today, uh, so in day two, what my plan is, is to start leaning into uh, getting some LR gear. I didn't think I'd get there this quick, but uh, the campaign system has been really good. So that's where we're at. Now, obviously I rerolled. I got a really good account. Having Yami, Mars, and also Lotus makes the account incredible. So I probably wouldn't be this far without these units. Um, you know, you can have substitutes. You can use Soul instead of Mars and you can use like uh, Solid Silver or uh, Ghosh instead of Yami, but they're just not as good as these two. So there have been some of those boss fights I have struggled with. However, if you're about four days behind when you're getting to some of these campaign stages, you should be able to get some good support characters. The one problem I've had is that a lot of the bosses uh, are green and I've used a full blue team. So I haven't had any support units that have been, been able to carry me through the campaign stages. So and that's where the account's at. Uh, like I said, we've got the LR units happening already, which is fantastic. We're up to this in the campaign. Uh, as you can see, episode eight over here on chapter four, almost completed chapter four, essentially. Uh, and then if we look... Uh, basically where we're at everywhere else. Arena, I've dropped off a bit because I've been holding on to tickets because I didn't really want to get attacked. So I've been holding out and I'll do a push later today. We're currently ranked 96, but we do have four tickets plus I will purchase three today. So uh, we've been sort of normally floating by the time I use my attacks around rank 20 in Arena, which I'm pretty happy with and I'm going to keep trying to climb. It's just that everyone uh, in the top ranks had started getting a bunch of LRs and I wanted to LR my characters uh, before getting into you know those top 20 range so that I didn't just get absolutely slapped as you, you can see here this guy's got a bunch of URs it's still holding some position which isn't too bad so that's what I'm looking at at arena I will do my attacks later on and try and climb back up into that top 20 or so and see how we go now let's jump into and talk about what I did to get my progression to where it is now. Now, I did a few things that maybe free-to-play don't want to do. I did do max refills on the first day of stamina. The other way I got stamina, because obviously stamina is everything, uh, is over here in the shop. Uh, with the mage piece ones uh, and we go to growth you can see you can purchase them here now i can't purchase these anymore because i don't have any other srs uh that i can sacrifice for this so i'm missing out on 400 stamina a day to whales now uh but i do i can still get these ones here with the characters that i have so that's where i got some extra stamina as well uh and what have i been farming so essentially if we go here to challenge uh, I d basically never touched the um, the bottom two down here. N never touched them. There is no need for that this early on. Uh, I didn't do much gear um, except for when, and this was the big thing, when Mage Path told me to get some SR pieces of gear, then I did a bit of gear farming uh, just to, so I could get those achievements. And also, if we go into the gear, we do have that pity system. Uh, and so I did farm this towards the end and got myself a few pieces of UR gear by abusing that. I definitely wanted to abuse that towards the end. So that's what, like I said, didn't spend much time in the gear dungeon. The Evergreen Forest, I spent just about no time farming in here. There was a few missions that told me to go here, so I progressed through it like that. But you don't really need to farm experience. The reason you don't need to farm experience is because when you progress through the campaign, the campaign gives you so much experience that you don't actually need to farm experience early on, which is fantastic. Now, back in the Canadian version, when they had these story tickets, which you only got like six capped and like you were stopping in story all the time. Like you had to go and farm experience if you wanted to progress but now because story is unlocked and it just costs stamina you can you, you can just keep progressing through story and that is where you get all the uh, experience that you need to level up your characters which is fantastic so that leaves the question where did I spend all of my stamina and the answer is pretty much in bond now I mainly farmed over here uh, in the the forest near uh, kicker because when I farmed that, it was giving me the food materials. Let's just go over there and take a look. 
But this was where I spent a lot of my farming time. Now, there are different places that you can farm uh, the the bond, but this was where I chose to just because, damn maintenance warning, um, because the materials you get here are what crafts the bond food. Um, like These are the bond food materials. So I would farm a bit, make the food, farm with the food, make the food, farm with the food, make the food. And that is what I farmed. Uh, also by doing that, it allowed me to get my reputation up with them, uh, which allowed me to unlock in the region shop. Uh, I don't want to go to the region shop, but it allowed me to unlock a gift box for defense heroes in the region shop, which allowed me to help boost up the bond over here on my Mars. Now, bond is what I pretty much farmed all day on the first day uh, because you need bond to increase your characters to LR. Uh, and that was my end goal, getting my four main characters to LR. Now, the one thing that I have done is I haven't used all of my gift boxes. I farmed more than I had to, because uh, if we go send gift, you can see I've got one there, but then if we go over here into my bag as well, Dude, that thing's super annoying. Where's my inventory? There it is. Uh, if we go into consumables, you can see over here, I've got seven of these, which give me uh, gifts as well. Now, the reason I didn't use these and I farmed it instead was because when I was farming, these are my first four units, which means they get they're all gaining the benefit of the farming. And then I'm going to use these on the next characters that I want to build up so that I can really boost that bond with them to get them up faster. So that is pretty much the gist of what I focused on. The t there's basically three, four main things that I focused on to recap the main things that, that were granting me progression. Well, the first one didn't grant me progression, but I focused on arena, didn't want my tickets to cap, really trying to push this. Uh, but like I said, I've stalled for now but I do have those tickets that I can go and punch out. So arena was one focus, never letting, like getting in there ASAP because I want to climb the ranks. The next thing was mage's path. Always, I was staying on top of this. You can see my next one is get a mage to level 90. I'm not too stressed on this one at the moment. Uh, I know I can just clap through the rest of these. Uh, I want to get all my characters to level 80 LR before I worry about getting one to level 90. This is the one point in the mage, uh, the mage's path where I'm happy to take a step back and not stress too much about it. But yes, up until here, I focus completely in on the mage's path. Uh, then beyond that, the next one was, like I said, farming in on that uh, bond because the bond was what's going to get me those LR units and then focusing on just progressing through the campaign because the campaign is just gives you so like the, the amount of experience that the campaign gives you is so utterly ridiculous. If you can get in guild with some strong people and stuff like that, uh, then it it'll it will really help you out. I don't, why did it walk me through there? Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're struggling in the campaign, get yourself into a guild, look for some friends, uh, try and get some friends. It just gets easier the longer the game's been out because more people have progressed. So there's more people with built units. Uh, but I just want to show you guys how to use the supports in case you didn't know, because it is a big thing. Uh, if you're starting the game, maybe a day later, two days later, maybe you haven't been grinding. I played this game like I, I pretty much didn't put it down except for the six hours that I slept and then to go to my son's cricket that was like the only two things that i put the game down for during this period so let's just go over here into my battle uh and yeah like i said if i if i had someone that had a really really strong uh red unit right now i'd be pretty good but i don't have any friends or guild members that have one that can really carry me through this so i'm trying to get all my characters to lr then i'll go into trying to find farm some lr gear uh and that's sort of where i'm looking at but yeah as you can see here i got Got, got an LR over here, but besides that, um, the best I'm getting is, you know, URs and stuff like that for the red units, which don't quite cut it. Uh, and if you go down here in my friends list, yeah, I just, I don't have the carry there. But if you want to, if you are struggling in campaign, definitely make use of the uh, assist function. It's absolutely huge, especially, like I said, the, the launch of the game, it's harder to abuse because there's not as many players. But later on in the game, if you're looking at this like a month down the road, a week down the road, uh, this is just absolutely fantastic. You just uh, basically go to your assistant majors and you can just get some really powerful ones off some friends. So, like I said, guys, that is the account. Let's go ahead and just pop a single summon anyway to see how we go. Just to finish off the video, what's the time? The time is 56 past. Okay, I got I got four minutes before the maintenance. Uh, so let's just pop a single down here on... Do, we want to do, it on, do, I, do I just do a single on, the, on this one because it gets towards the pity? Um, yeah, let's, let's just pop a single here for the, the shits and gigs to finish it off. See if we can't... No, nah, okay. 
Yeah, I, I, I kind of, I, I kind of want to do so. I kind of want to do some summons because I, I want that extra stamina. That extra 400 stamina a day is huge, and because I'm not summoning, I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we're not going to go that hard for it, uh, dude. I, I, the, the stamina is just, it's just an absolute burn. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, we get a, a Finral or a Veltos. Uh, nope, Asta. No, hey, I'll, I'll feed that away for some uh, for some stamina as well. But that is where we're at, guys. That is my tips. Like I said, the core things that I looked at were, were the Mage's Path, the Campaign, and Bond. Now, if you're a paid player, don't forget, you don't really probably have to do the Bond because you can buy so many gifts that you can neglect it, which is amazing for paid players. So that's a bit different. This is more from a free-to-play perspective. Uh, and the other thing I did was obviously keeping on top of Arena. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.